Our time travelers are at last reaching the final stop in their journey. By the look and feel of it, it was a very short hop from the darkest day of Jesus' crucifixion. By all accounts, though, this is a very different day indeed. A day which makes all the difference in the world. machine took us this time? Now that all the pieces are fitting together, yeah, I know exactly when and where we are. Well, Detective Sparks, I can't wait for someone to tell me- I have to tell them! I have to tell them! Tell them what? They've taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they put him! The stone has been rolled away, and Jesus' body wasn't there! I have to find Peter and the other disciples to tell them! I've been looking for you! He's gone! The stone Jesus' tomb has been opened, and the body's no longer there! But, uh, uh, what? I need to go see for myself! And I'll go tell the others! But they won't remember what just happened inside the bubble. Peter! I've been looking for you! The tomb is open! Jesus' body is gone, and he's no longer there! We don't know where they put him! What? I, I need to go see for myself. John! John, we need to go see what Mary's talking about. Wait for me! You see, Chip, the time machine does work. It works perfectly. It brought us to the lightest, most wonderful moment in human history. The day that Jesus rose the, from the day that Jesus rose from the grave proving his victory over sin and death and freeing his followers from the slavery that began back in the garden of eden uh hello sir i I'm, I'm sorry we didn't see you there are you one of jesus disciples yes i am a follower of jesus ever since the day that i saw the heavens proclaim the day of his birth I have followed, and I have seen all that the Son of God, the Son of Man, the Lamb of God has accomplished for us poor and helpless sinners. This is indeed the brightest of days, and I am delighted that my own old eyes were able to see it. Sorry to intrude, sir, but which disciple are you? Andrew? Bartholomew? James? I was none of the twelve. I followed from afar. An observer, if you will. It, it, it can't be. What can be? Yes, Sparks, it can. You knew her name, but that means... Max! It's you, it's really you. But, but, but after we met with Paul, you were flung from the time bubble mid-jump. I thought you were... Dead? I thought so too. We had circled around to the past when I fell out, and I just tumbled and tumbled in the darkness. When I stopped tumbling, I realized I was in the base of a mountain in the middle of the night. And then it happened. You said a moment ago that you saw the heavens proclaim the day of Jesus' birth. Is that what you saw? Yes, the first of many things. I can't even begin to describe what I saw in the heavens that night, or at the temple when Jesus was there as a boy, or during Jesus' ministry, when he healed the sick, cured the blind, bound the lame, and raised the dead. I saw all of it. The last time we saw you, Paul was warning you that you were... That God has his way of getting the attention of stubborn old men like me? He was right. 
That time machine spitting me out when it did, allowing me to see all that I have seen. I stand before you today a very different man than when you last saw me. That means you've been wandering out around ancient Israel for about... 33 years, give or take a month. And now you're back here. But how did you even find us? I did some calculations on our time spiral. I had a lot of time on my hands to figure out your trajectory. Uh, your next landing was somewhere around Jesus' ministry. Am I correct? Yes. We got to see Jesus tell the parable of the ten virgins and the parable of the bags of gold on the Mount of Olives. <laughs> I was there. Uh, off in the distance a bit. I wish I knew your precise location. It would have been nice to drop in for a visit. But, but, but didn't you contaminate history by being in the timeline for so long? I don't think so. I did my best to keep to myself. I only observed. I saw everything that God wanted me to see. And now, he has every bit of my heart. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. That's wonderful, Max. Praise God. So, how did you find us here? Your final destination was an absolute certainty to me. You ended up circling the day of crucifixion, last Friday for me. And now, you have witnessed the day of Jesus' resurrection. This is, beyond the shadow of a doubt, the most victorious, most beautiful, lightest day of human history. Right here, where the time machine was programmed to take us. But we're invisible to those outside the bubble. How did you... Actually find you? The garden isn't too large. I just started zigzagging. I was able to find you after just one zig and two Xarex. So, now what? Are we to stay here for the rest of our lives? No. The time machine is about to go where it belongs. Home. Its mission has been fulfilled. Uh, are you staying here? No, young one. I have been given a great treasure, and my purpose here is done as well. I have to go and share it back home with my friends, family, and anyone who will listen. So we're going home. But I thought that the homing circuit wasn't working correctly. One thing I have learned over the past three decades, young Chip, is to have a little faith. Now, if you'll excuse me, I packed a shaving kit for my original journey into the future. I've been waiting years to get this beard off! Oh, there it is. Yes, sorry. Look, Sparks. The time machine is as dead as a door now. I'm not sure Max is right. I don't think we're going anywhere. You're probably right. When did you get so negative? <laughs> Chip, I'm happier right now than I have been in my whole life. My belief in God and in his son, Jesus Christ, has been affirmed before my very eyes. But I can't shake the feeling that the time machine still has a purpose for us here. I mean, Max's journey is certainly complete. But mine isn't. What do you mean? Well, I, I've seen everything that you and Max have seen, but I know it's a different journey for me. Before this journey, I knew a lot about the Bible, but it was all just in my head. And what about now? Well, it's all still been a mental exercise for me, but then, then I saw how you trusted Jesus' words that guided you to the right repair on the spatial circuit. You were calm. I was... Scared to death. You have something. I don't. Safe. Yeah. I, I think I think I understand now. I've been giving Jesus my mind for my whole life, but not my heart. With all I've seen and learned about Jesus on this journey, I'm ready to put my faith in him and to trust him with everything in my life, no matter what. Praise God. 
Would you look at that? <laughs> that time machine seems ready to go home. How about you two? You know we are. Hold on, Sparks. We've learned a lot on our journey. But if we start talking about time machines, people are going to think we're crazy. What I was going to say is that I can't wait to tell everyone what Jesus has done for me. There's plenty to talk about without having to mention a time machine in the process. I have much to tell many people as well. Hey, now that we have Wi-Fi, there's one detail I was dying to figure out. What happened to Epic Eve? Exactly. It says here that she was in a terrible plane crash a couple of days after we saw her. That means... No, no, no. She survived. And... But she was in critical condition. She, she found Jesus a few years later at a, at a revival and dedicated her life to the Lord. Now in Chicago, there's an orphanage named Eve Ep Eve's Epic Orphanage. It's still in operation... Today, great Scott. I had a feeling that God wasn't done with her. It's amazing to see how God reaches the most unlikely people. I heard that. Now, it's time for us to get out of here. I've programmed the time machine to go far into the future. For real this time. But Max, why would you want to go there? I'm not going anywhere. I'm just sending the time machine. Once there, it's programmed with the same trajectory. I figured whoever lives in the distant future could use the same experience we just had. Call it the most creative way to share the gospel you've ever heard of. I'm going with it. What? what? If the time machine finds someone to go on the same journey, they could use a guide. And I'm ready to share my story. Time machine, remember? Tell them I'll be home in time for dinner. That's awesome, Chip. I can't wait to hear that. Catch you later. God be with you. To the future. For the king and his son! And so the adventure for our time travelers seems to be just beginning. And the same is true for you. What's that you say? You don't have a time machine? Oh, but you do. It's your Bible. And with it, you can travel to the distant past to learn what Jesus has done for you today and what his plans are for your future. That adventure is just beginning.